So in today's video, I'll show you how to unbox and set up the HP DeskJet 3755 on a Mac. However, this setup video also applies to any HP DeskJet 3700 series printer. So let's go ahead, get it out of the box and start setting it up. And if you're looking to buy one of these printers, I'll leave a link right below the video. So feel free to check that out. So I've opened the box up. Let's see what's inside. You have the power cable, the black and tricolor cartridges, the manuals and all the other pieces of paperwork. And then let's remove this cardboard shelf on the inside. Now the easiest way to get these printers out of their boxes is to lay the box on one of its larger rectangular sides and then pull the printer out onto the table. And now you wanna get rid of the foam end caps and the thin plastic film covering the printer. So the first step in the process is to plug the power cable into the back of the printer and then plug the other end into a wall outlet. Press the power button, which is on the top left-hand side of the printer. And the printer then powers on and goes through its initial booting sequence. And once it's done with that initial booting sequence, you'll notice that the power button is blinking and that's fine. And the next step is to install the cartridges. Open this compartment on the front and you'll notice that the cartridge tray slides into view. Now I've removed both cartridges from their outer packaging. You also want to remove this piece of protective tape on the print head by pulling on this paper with the HP logo. Do that for both cartridges. And then let's start with the tricolor cartridge. Insert it into the cartridge tray with the electrical contacts facing inwards and push it in to lock it into place. And let's do the same with the black cartridge. Again, with the electrical contacts and the print head facing inwards, insert it into the tray and push it all the way in until it locks into place. Now you can close this compartment and once you've done this, you'll notice that the power button is not blinking anymore. Next, let's load some paper in the printer. To do that, pull the paper tray upwards and then slant it backwards. And then I'm gonna insert some letter sized paper into the paper tray, pull this flap forward and then slide the adjustable paper guide all the way to the left then insert your paper into the paper tray and slide your paper guide slightly inwards to match the size of your paper. And now let's start setting it up on a Mac. And before you get started, you want to make sure that you're connected to the 2.4 gigahertz network on your router. And the easiest way to do this is to click on this little Wi-Fi symbol on the top right hand corner of your screen. And under your available networks, you'll notice two networks with very similar names. One will probably have have the name 5G next to it, as you can see here. I'm going to select the one that doesn't, and this is my 2.4 gigahertz network. So click on that and connect to it. So to set the printer up on a Mac, you want to go into your App Store, and the easiest way to find your App Store is to go into your Launchpad, which should be at the bottom left-hand corner of your dock. Click Launchpad, and then look for the App Store icon. Click on App Store, and once the App Store app opens up, go into the top left hand corner to the search bar and search for HP Smart and select the HP Smart for desktop option. Click on that and click get to begin installing and give it a few seconds. And once it finishes installing, click open. On the next screen that opens up, click continue. And then it asks you whether you'd like to share usage data. This is entirely up to you. I'm gonna click no for now. And on the screen that follows, it gives you two options, set up a new printer or sign in. I'm gonna click skip for now because we're gonna do this from the home page of the app, which seems to work more reliably. So click skip for now. And then it takes you to to the home page of the app, click add printer to add a printer. So on the next page, it has found all the printers in our immediate vicinity. And the printer we're looking for in this case is the HP DeskJet. 3700 series. Click set up, then click continue. And then it asks whether you'd like it to automatically access the password for your Wi-Fi network. Again, as I mentioned in the Windows setup, I don't recommend doing this. I recommend doing this manually. So I recommend clicking no thanks and then enter your Wi-Fi password for your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. 
then click connect and then give it a few seconds to connect to your Wi-Fi network and then it lets you know that it is now connected to your home Wi-Fi network then click continue on the page that follows click continue again and then it asks you to either sign in to an HP account or create an account if you don't already have one you can obviously skip this but I don't recommend doing that now in my case I already have an HP account so I'm just going to sign into it but if you don't have one feel free to create an account and once you're signed in it lets you know that it is now transferring information from your account and on the page that follows it again tells you about the HP Instant Ink program click continue and then it asks you which HP Instant Ink plan you would prefer I'm going to click no instant ink for now and then click continue and then it asks you whether you're sure you don't want instant ink I'm gonna click no I don't want instant ink and then it asks you a few survey questions answer those and then click continue and then it also lets you know that you can print from other devices on your network and that it can also send you a link to do this so I'm going to click skip sending link and as a final step it reminds you to go into your print settings and add this printer to your list of printers. To do this you want to go into the system preferences on your Mac then click on the printers and scanners icon to open up the printers and scanners menu and you'll notice on the left there's a list of printers that are already connected to this Mac and if this printer isn't already on the list click that plus button on the bottom left hand corner and then you'll notice that it lists a few printers that are available for installation we're looking for the HP DeskJet 3700 series click on that printer's name to select it leave all the other things as the default and then click add and then it says that it is setting up the HP DeskJet 3700 series and once it's done with that you'll notice that the printer has been added to your list of printers and now you want to jump back into the HP Smart app and click continue and on the next page it gives you the option of printing a test page I highly recommend doing this to make sure your printer works correctly and once the test page prints you're brought back to the home page of the app where you'll notice that the printer has been installed and is now ready for use and this completes the installation of the printer on the Mac and this brings us to the end of the unboxing and setup of the HP DeskJet 3755 and if you're looking to buy one of these I'll leave a link right below the video if you found this video helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews unboxings and how-to videos thanks for watching and see you next time